Six months after a Hawaii Supreme Court decision invalidated the use of preliminary hearings to indict serious offenders, the legislature pushed a bill through that would reinstate the process. Jen Boniza explains. It's a bill awaiting the governor's signature that would once again allow prosecutors to charge the most serious violent felons via preliminary hearing. We had no doubt that the legislature would want to restore what the voters had voted for with a constitutional amendment back in 1982. And in fact, they did that. So hats off to the legislature. In a statement, the governor's senior advisor says they're awaiting final legal fiscal review before he makes his final decision. He's working expeditiously and anticipates a decision very soon. Angela Lacey, who's still mourning the death of her boyfriend, Michael Stubbs, who was killed on the job last May, has doubts. How is it going to hold? How is there going to be a guarantee that the overturns are not going to happen again? The man accused of killing Stubbs was charged via preliminary hearing. So when the Hawaii Supreme Court overturned it, Lacey feared the worst. That was my greatest fear through this whole process, that the guy that got accused for taking Mike away from us had a chance to go free. She wasn't alone. The ruling impacted 176 other cases on Oahu alone. Every one of them now needed to be indicted by a grand jury or the state's most violent felons would be set free. Alm says the ruling threw the criminal justice system for a loop and they're still playing catch up. Now there are still a number of cases that, that have to go to grand jury that went to preliminary hearing. He says, thankfully, no one was released in Honolulu, but Kauai's prosecuting attorney says one defendant accused of first-degree terroristic threatening was released because they were not able to get a grand jury indictment in time. County prosecutors had requested that the legislature convene for a special session in the fall to address the issue, but that request was denied. I met with Senator Carl Rhodes. We might have gone into special session if we had reached an agreement earlier, but we weren't able to. Rhodes says he feels confident the governor will sign the bill into law. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.